Hello friends, this is DK Gautam and thank you for joining Interview Point. So friends, in this video we will understand what is ternary operator in C sharp. So I will tell you a real time example of using ternary operator. Okay, so sometimes you feel like you forget how to use this ternary operator. So if you will watch this video completely, you will never forget this. Okay, so let's understand what is ternary operator in C sharp. So actually ternary operator is nothing but the conditional operator also known as ternary conditional operator. The next point is it evaluates a boolean expression and returns the result of one of the two expressions depending on whether the boolean expression evaluates to true or false. So suppose sometimes we have to evaluate two conditions like based on the true and false. At that time we will go for ternary operator in C sharp language. Okay, so the next point is ternary operator can be used to replace multi lines of code with a single line. However, we shouldn't overuse it. Okay, we can also use this ternary operator to replace multi line of code. Okay, so suppose we are having uh, multiple lines at that time we will use this ternary operator so it will reduce the so many lines and it will improve the performance of our program. Okay, so I will tell you how we will use it. So suppose I am going to open my Visual Studio here we are having one program and here we are having a number and we want the real either it is a even number or odd number. So we need to check this number. Okay, we can provide any number as of now I just put 5. So I just need to check it. So what I will do, I will just check here, I will put the condition. If this condition is true, then we will say, okay, this number is even. If this condition fails, then it will automatically goes to else part. In the else part, it will say the result is false. It means this is a odd number. Okay, so let me run this program and we will see the output. So as of now, as we know, 5 is odd number. So is 5 even? It is saying false. It is not an even number. Suppose if I will put here 4, then it is print yes because 4 is an even number. So we will see the output. Okay, it will say true. So like this. Now, how to use here ternary operator so that we will get the same output. But here, how many lines are there? 8 lines of code is here. But I will use a ternary operator so that we will get this same output in a single line. So how I will write this? So I will write here uh, result is equal to here we need to put our condition. Condition is nothing but this one. Okay, this condition. And we have to put the question mark here. Okay, so we are just checking this. If this is true, then what we will write here? True. If this condition is not true, then what we will do? We will say it is false. Okay, like this. Now, this all the eight lines of code we have just placed in one line. So I am I am going to remove this as of now it is not required for us. If I will run this program and we will get the same output as we know that 4 is a even number. So we will get true. Is 4 even? It is saying true. Suppose this is the eight lines of code and here we have only just two conditions true and false. Suppose in a future we are having a number and we want to compare with another number. Suppose A comma B. We are having two numbers. Okay. Suppose A value is suppose 5 and we are having B value is uh, like 6. And what we will do and here we will uh, put a string and result. Okay. Save like previous and I as of now I will comment this. So I need to replace it. So I will put the condition like this. So A if A is greater than B then we will say A is greater than B. If A is less than B then we will say B is greater than A. If this both the condition is not true then by default this condition will be executed. Okay. So it will say A is equal to B. Okay. Either A will be greater than either A will be less than or if both the condition fails then this condition must be true. So in that case let me run this program and I will say here actually we just need to print the result so no need this and if I will run this program so what result we will get let's see now what we what the result we get b is greater than a because b value is greater than a as we know that b 6 is greater than 5 suppose if I want to replace this all the code with a simple one line okay before that let me give you one example how to remember this so that we cannot forget first what we will understand if this condition is true then we will put a question mark 
and here it will be true or we can say yes if this condition is true then yes and this colon and we will say no if this condition is true then yes if this condition fails then second part will be exit okay so this is the trick to remember okay let me move to the visual studio again and now so these these are the 12 lines of code now i will replace this all the 12 line code with a single line so as of now i am going to comment it and here i need to give so what is our first condition okay so we have to give the result is equal to a this condition we have to put this condition and then question mark and what will be the result for this a is greater than b so here a is greater than b and then we have to put the colon and now we have to put another condition here and then question mark and what will be the condition b is greater than a in the else part what we have to write a is equal to b in the else part okay here we need to put question mark now our con our this condition is true now this is now correct so like this we have to write our expression suppose this condition we need to check and this condition we need to check and then else part we have to check so first we need to check this condition if this condition is true then print this if not then check this condition if this condition is true then print this else print this condition okay now if i will run this program we will get the output as expected uh, this one a is b is greater than a so we can see b is greater than a so guys like this we can use ternary operator in c sharp if you have any doubt regarding this ternary operator you can ask me through comment i will try to respond to you as soon as possible thank you guys for watching this video we'll see you in the next video please provide your feedback thanks